Hello everyone, this is CM Bear, future star of the UFC, and you're watching Twin Family Network. Oh yeah, and one thing, if I don't make invent UFC, I quit. Fuck you. Suck my dick, Marks. Alright, Johnny Blaze back with you again, and uh, this time we're doing something that you really haven't seen too much of on YouTube, but it can be done. There's comments showing that it can be done, so hell with it. Let's try it on camera. Now, I took advantage of Amazon's Black, not Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. Can't believe there is such a thing. And in here, we have, if I can get it out, I can get out one trouble already. A. 128 gigabyte SD card and I know it's a little blurry because it's not cooperating with me and zooming in right now and what we're going to do with this is we're going to make it work in a new Nintendo 3DS now I did the 3DS tutorial on YouTube and showing you how to set up EMU NAND and all that other fun stuff um, but now I'm going to show you how to upgrade to 128 gigs. More as like an overview so it can be done. Some of the steps were done in that tutorial, such as backing up the EMU NAND and backing up the contents of the SD card. So, but if you don't want to watch one of those videos, just do the reverse steps. So, first of all, what we got to do is put this in the computer, make sure that this lock switch isn't down. Make sure I don't have anything else in there first. This is the old SD cards over there. Now, do 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 computer. Now, is 119 gigs of 119 gigs free? I have 128 because it needs its own format. But if you notice, it's EX fat. I don't know why it's not saying it. But we'll, we'll show you. Well, disk unknown. So, but it won't be unknown for very long. But it's usually EX fat. So, what we're going to do is go to. Let's see, because it's much easier to search for it. Or. is Partition Manager. This is what I always use because it hasn't failed me yet. Although I've heard some things. Not about this program specifically, but about others, about the cluster size being a little too big or whatever. Okay, so as you can see, other so we're going to delete that partition yes now we're, we're we're going to create now you're always going to have 119 gigs out of 128 so we're going to make this primary fat 32 and we're going to say okay so we're going to apply those changes to operations are currently pending. Now I know there's some concerns also for performance issues, but we're also going to go over them as well. Two operations have been executed successfully. Now it's going to usually does there we go updating system information so now we have a fat 32 card and it should say that right there fat 32 now what we're gonna do now I already unscrewed this and believe you and me the 3ds the new 3ds covers are extremely flimsy so let me just 
because it always you, you know it always sounds like it's gonna break when it really doesn't and that's because I figured out why it's because the nails you know the screws that they use um, actually hook onto here so it's a pain in the butt now we're going to oh one more thing that's the problem with doing some of these videos or so early we forget everything one important thing to do we need to put the launcher file on here so what we're going to do is obviously go to downloads I think I have it on here still. <clears throat> Let's see here. Well, I guess I don't have it anymore, but we're going to go to Gateway's website. Oh, wait, I do. <laughs> Good thing I backed up my SD card. Okay, so I guess you see the more human side of it, I guess. So we're not going to put everything on my SD card yet. We're just going to put the launcher file on here. We're going to take care of all this, all this later. Now, right now, from that, you just need the launcher file. But normally, you'd go to Gateway's website and go get that. But we're going to take a shortcut today because you should have already had this backed up. And in a way, it's glad that I showed you guys. Damn, you can tell this is brand new. Pop it in here. Now, I keep the cover off because, just in case, because it's a pain in the ass to put it back on, and we've, we've, we've got to do diagnostic work. It's a lot better to just leave it open. Zoom in. Shit. Camera's being retarded today. So we're going to go to system settings. We're going to go to. Oh shit, I just jerked the phone. I got a screen protector so I can do this. Profile. And then we're going to hold down L and then Nintendo DS profile. And this should take us right to the gateway menu because the system exploit is held in the system memory. It's not held in um, the SD card. What we're going to do is we don't need to back up our system now because we already did that when we did the thing the first time. So all we got to do is format EMU NAND for start. Now this is the process that takes the most time but we, as before, I'm just going to put the key, the camera on it until it starts. And it takes a while to start. It's obviously a bigger SD card, it's going to take a while to start. Yep, there we go, it's starting now. So, I'm going to, I'm going to pause this, I'm going to stop this video for now. And then when we come back, we're going to have the formatted EMU NAND. I 
well we're back and uh, even though the EMU NAND is still formatting, I just thought of something that would be a really big time saver, especially if you have gateway and you're moving up to a bigger SD card, obviously you want to put more games on it. Now, um, with the 128 SD card, um, the biggest thing is obviously you want to put more retail 3DS games. I really don't suggest putting the virtual console stuff, the, you know, the injections on there, unless they're games you absolutely play all the time, because there is a CIA limit on that system. There is, I think it's like 300 something. So keep your virtual console games to a minimum, especially if you have a, a 128 megabyte SD, you know, gigabyte SD card. Now, while this is formatting, this takes a while, start putting on you know, start adding, you know, on th this is on the hard drive, obviously. This is your backup, but start putting the games on there that you, that you want to put on here. God damn it. I went back too far. So, we're going to, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is, since we know we have one, well, you're going to have 118 after, you know, or 117, because I think this is 2 gigabytes. Uh, for the game you need. What you're going to do is go to properties 55 Calculator because like I said putting the cover back on this thing is a pain in the ass So we might as well do this now. So you got 55 Minus but let's be safe and say 117 So you have 62 gigs remaining so what you're going to want to do is, and I usually make a CIA folder, and I keep it organized, because this helps so much, especially if you have to do things in certain steps, like you have to put an update first, then the DLC, or vice versa. So we got DLC, games, themes, updates, and then VC for virtual console. I always keep big blue menu on there, just in case, dev menu. And then the advanced, the, the GBA part, the patch firmware for pasta because I usually use that every now and again. So, first of all, we're going to go to games, and this is for the DSiWare, obviously. Now, I made a few games last night, and they're under the CIA installed. So, we're going to take a few of these bad boys. And then we're just going to drag them over. Now, we're just going to drag them over. Close that out. I'm just going to do one for now to show you how it's done. So we got backup. And then your backup which is your SD card. It's this way, once you transfer everything over to the SD card, everything's gonna come over with it. So you're gonna put, so for example, I don't have Sonic Generations yet so on installed. So we're gonna just drag that over. Or if you're from another drive, you know, copy over. But this is the same drive, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, copy and paste. And there you go. So you can do that while you're waiting for this to get done. And obviously it still isn't done. And then, like I said, this EMU NAND is about 2 gigabytes. Whereas the original... 3DS is about one gigabyte, so it's going to take a while, but at least, you know, when you have to put everything back on your SD card, everything will be there, so you get it done in one shot, so it's a time saver, so now I'm going to pause the video, put some more games on there, and then we'll come back when it's time for the next step, and when this is done. Well, we are back, and the formatting is done, so we're going to press A to exit. Now this is important. We have to start up the EMU NAND at least. At least this one. Because that's crucial. So this way it's already been used. Now 
this may take a couple tries but we're gonna give it a second to warm up so to speak see up there because it means it froze. So we're going to start all over. But holding the power button in. So I'm going to repeat the steps over again. Now usually remember in the overview I would tell you to format the EMU NAND again. You know, so it's unlinked, but we're not going to have to worry about that because um, we're going to inject our old NAND into here, so it'll already be unlinked. And this is what we're looking for, the blurriness. Because, yes, I usually just close it down until it goes away. Because, yes, the blurriness, you know, that you see upon startup is basically a bug. But in a way, it's been a blessing because you'll know when you're in EMU NAND. Because it screws with the, set, with the sensor for the super stable three days so we're going to turn that off real quick we're going to go to system settings real quick make sure we're on emu nand we are now we're going to turn this off the message should pop up if it usually doesn't i usually just hold it so not really much more than usual and then we're going to take it to the computer and then when we do we'll be right back as this is still going. Well, as you can see, it's in the computer right now. It's gateway NAND. We have 117 free. So what we're going to do is you got the launcher and the Nintendo 3DS folder. Now what we're going to do is we have our backup, which is right here with some games already put on there to install. Now we're just going to drag over to Gateway NAND and drop. You see we're going to use 84 already out of 117. Now the thing is is that you shouldn't put too many games on there yet because what's going to happen is that you're going to need at least double the space. You're going to need the space to install the game you can delete them as you install them through big blue menu but you're still going to need the space so or at least you know double of the, your biggest game i've noticed but we're going to stay safe and keep this for now but since it's another sector what we're going to do is we're going to go to local we're going to go to our emu nan tool 103 now we can do this while the stuff is put, getting on the SD card because the MU NAND is considered a different partition. So what we're going to do is inject NAND into EMU NAND. And we're going to take the one we just made yesterday. And you don't have to worry about selecting the drive because it automatically detects the SD card that has the EMU NAND partition in it because 
it's looking for gateway the gateway nan it's looking for the first couple bites of it or something I forget how that works but it, it does it finds the card Now we're going to let this go and then we'll be back when this is done. Alright, finally the light shines again. I guess it doesn't when it's only completely dark. As you see we have the SD card back in. The, the, the immune end has been injected. And also the games are on there. The entire contents of the SD card. Takes a couple more seconds of this one to start up, nothing too bad. Of course, we're going to start gateway the way we usually do. I was making new one yesterday while the I was making new ones so I'm doing this actually the next morning because I forgot to do a follow up so much was going on yesterday now we can do the gateway mode wish somebody would come up with a way that you don't have to worry about that As you can see, the blurriness means we are back in EMU NAND mode. I don't know which theme this is. Because I put new themes on here. But you see, for the speed, it's not really much more slower. So I put in a few games to test. Then we're going to go to system software. Excuse me. CIA. Games. L, R, and A. Do it right now. As you can see it's going to install everything we're just going to leave that there but that's all there is to it and it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing so you have it proof that the new Nintendo 3DS with gateway can run a 128 gig SD card or a micro SD card if you have a new 3DS. So for now, Johnny Blaze signing off.